Welcome to the Navy Channel. In today's video, we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison between two of the most powerful aircraft carriers in the world, the Gerald R. Ford class and the Nimitz class. We'll be breaking down their design, technology, capabilities, and costs to determine which one stands out as the superior carrier. Whether you're a naval enthusiast or just curious about modern military power, this comparison will give you a clear understanding of how these giants of the sea stack up against each other. The Nimitz-class carriers, towering icons of naval might, were revolutionary when they first entered service. These carriers, named after Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, were designed during the Cold War to meet the strategic needs of the time. Their massive size, with a displacement of approximately 100,000 tons, allowed them to carry a large number of aircraft and sustain operations for extended periods. Powered by nuclear reactors, these carriers could operate without refueling for over two decades, giving them a global reach unmatched by other naval vessels of their era. In contrast, the Gerald R. Ford class represents the next step in carrier design building on the success of the Nimitz class but incorporating numerous innovations to enhance performance and reduce operational costs. While the basic hull design remains similar, the Ford class introduces several key structural changes. One of the most significant improvements is the relocation of the island farther aft on the ship, providing a larger flight deck area and better operational efficiency. Additionally, the Ford class features an updated and more efficient nuclear reactor design, capable of generating three times the electrical power of the Nimitz class reactors. This additional power is crucial for supporting the ship's advanced systems and future technologies. The ability to launch and recover aircraft efficiently is the core function of an aircraft carrier. The Nimitz-class carriers utilize steam-powered catapults for launching aircraft. These catapults, while highly effective, are also complex and require extensive maintenance. They operate by using steam pressure to propel aircraft off the deck, allowing for quick takeoffs even in a short distance. The arresting gear on Nimitz-class carriers, which consists of heavy cables stretched across the deck, is used to catch aircraft during landing bringing them to a rapid stop. This system, though reliable, is also demanding in terms of upkeep and precision. The Gerald R. Ford class carriers bring significant advancements in this area with the introduction of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system. EMALS replaces the older steam catapults with a more efficient electromagnetic system that offers smoother launches and reduces stress on the aircraft. This system not only improves the carrier's ability to generate more sorties, but also requires less maintenance, increasing the ship's operational readiness. Alongside emails, the Ford class features the advanced arresting gear, which provides more reliable and adaptable recovery of aircraft. These innovations allow the Ford class to conduct more flight operations in less time, giving it a clear operational edge over the Nimitz class. In terms of defensive capabilities, both the Nimitz and Ford-class carriers are heavily armed to protect against a variety of threats. The Nimitz class is equipped with RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles for medium-range air defense and Phalanx close-in weapon systems for point defense against incoming missiles or aircraft. Over the years, these carriers have been upgraded with improved radar and electronic warfare systems to better detect and counteract modern threats. However, as these systems age, they become increasingly difficult and costly to maintain at peak effectiveness. The Gerald R. Ford class, on the other hand, is equipped with more advanced defensive systems. The RIM-162 Evolve Sea Sparrow missiles and RIM-116 rolling airframe missiles provide superior defense against a broader range of threats, including advanced anti-ship missiles. Additionally, the Ford-class carriers incorporate advanced electronic warfare systems that enhance their ability to detect and counter enemy radar and communications. 
The ship's design also includes stealth features to reduce its radar cross-section, making it harder for adversaries to detect and target. This combination of advanced defensive systems and reduced detectability significantly enhances the survivability of the Ford-class carriers in hostile environments. Operating an aircraft carrier requires a large and skilled crew, and the Nimitz-class carriers typically require around 5,000 sailors, including the air wing personnel. The sheer size of the crew is necessary to operate the complex systems and manage the vast array of tasks on board. However, this also leads to high operational costs and significant logistical challenges, especially during extended deployments. The living conditions on Nimitz-class carriers, while adequate, reflect the design priorities of an earlier era, where operational capability often took precedence over crew comfort. The Gerald R. Ford-class carriers address these issues through increased automation and more efficient systems, allowing them to operate with a smaller crew of approximately 4,500. This reduction in manpower is achieved without sacrificing operational capability thanks to advanced technology that streamlines many of the ship's functions. The Ford class also features improved living conditions, recognizing the importance of crew morale and comfort during long deployments. These enhancements not only make the Ford class more efficient, but also reduce the overall operational costs, making it a more sustainable option for the Navy over the long term. Cost is always a major consideration in the development and deployment of military assets, and the Nimitz and Ford-class carriers are no exception. The Nimitz-class carriers were built at an average cost of around $4.5 billion each. But when factoring in the costs of maintenance, upgrades, and operations over a 50-year lifespan, the total expenditure can exceed $20 billion per ship. Despite these high costs, the Nimitz-class carriers have proven to be a sound investment, offering unparalleled flexibility and capability for decades. The Gerald R. Ford-class carriers, however, come with a much higher initial price tag. The lead ship, USS Gerald R. Ford, cost approximately $13 billion to build, making it the most expensive warship ever constructed. This high cost is primarily due to the integration of advanced technologies and systems that are intended to reduce long-term operational expenses. While the upfront cost is steep, the Navy anticipates that the Ford class will have lower life cycle costs compared to the Nimitz class, thanks to its reduced crew size and more efficient systems. Additionally, the Ford class is designed with future upgrades in mind potentially extending its service life and further enhancing its value. Strategically, both the Nimitz and Ford-class carriers play crucial roles in the U.S. Navy's ability to project power globally. The Nimitz class has been the backbone of the Navy's carrier fleet for nearly half a century, enabling the U.S. to conduct a wide range of missions, from combat operations to humanitarian assistance. These carriers have proven their worth time and again, and their legacy is firmly established in the annals of naval history. Looking forward, the Gerald R. Ford class is poised to take over this mantle, offering enhanced capabilities that are better suited to the challenges of the 21st century. As global threats evolve and new technologies emerge, the Ford-class carriers will provide the Navy with the flexibility and power it needs to maintain its strategic edge. The Ford-class's ability to integrate future technologies, such as directed energy weapons and unmanned systems, ensures that it will remain relevant for decades to come. What do you think? Will the advancements in the Gerald R. Ford-class eventually render the Nimitz-class carriers obsolete? Or is there still a place for these older giants in modern naval strategy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. In conclusion, while the Nimitz-class carriers have served the U.S. Navy with distinction for many years, the introduction of the Gerald R. Ford class represents a significant step forward in aircraft carrier design and capability. 
the Ford class offers improved operational efficiency, advanced defensive systems, and greater adaptability to future technologies. These advantages make it clear that the Ford class is not just the next generation of aircraft carriers, but the foundation for the future of U.S. naval power. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed our comparison of the Gerald R. Ford class and Nimitz class aircraft carriers. If you found this content informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more in-depth analyses of naval power and military technology. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know which carrier you think is better and why. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.